Hi, everybody. Meteorologist Joe Chaffee. Weather in five, five days and five minutes on a busy Monday afternoon as we have the mechanism that's breaking the heat wave moving through. So well, let's get to it with uh, severe thunderstorm watches that are up from northeastern New Jersey across Long Island, New York City, the Hudson Valley, one county in northeastern Pennsylvania, all of southern southeastern New England and then going northward into New Hampshire and over into Maine. And uh, for areas to the south, I uh, just want to point out that the uh, Storm Prediction Center has also uh, issued a, a potential severe thunderstorm watch that is likely for uh, southern New Jersey uh, and points uh, southward. And we'll just give you a quick look at that here uh, as uh, we uh, punch it up from SPC. Uh, from you see the southern New Jersey County, southeastern Pennsylvania, down into Maryland, Delaware, and into northeastern Virginia. It is 1.30 Eastern time, so obviously if you're watching this later this afternoon or into this evening, this is all going to be very dated. And as a result, please go to weather.gov and go to your local National Weather Service office uh, forecast office to get the updated information and of course your latest radars here's your cold front that's moving on through uh, it's uh, going to be breaking this heat wave behind it we've got uh, a pretty decent dry air mass that's going to be moving into the northeast and into the northern mid-atlantic states for tuesday into wednesday one thing we got to watch for is how far south this front gets because it is going to get hung up for a short time as it waits for the upper trough which is hanging back uh, you kind of see these clouds up here uh, in uh, the upper Great Lakes. That's the upper trough, and it's a bit on the broad side. So we're going to have to wait for that to come through and push the front uh, even further south into the mid-Atlantic states on Tuesday. Radar at the moment, uh, again, this is at 1.30 Eastern time. You're seeing some severe weather in and around New York City. We have flash flood warnings up for the northeastern New Jersey counties across New northern New Jersey. I'm sorry, uh, New York, across New York City, uh, the northern part of Nassau into a small portion of northwest Suffolk and also into Westchester County. We might see those flash flood watches get extended as this lead area moves eastward. Now, there's a couple of other things to point out. You'll notice there's showers in eastern Pennsylvania down into uh, western Maryland and northeastern West Virginia. Those are probably going to fire up into another line of storms as they move eastward. Uh, another line is up in upstate New York, and you see it here from just south of Saratoga uh, down to uh, almost to the Albany area as of 1.30 and going south and west of there into the Catskills. And plus, we have some scattered downpours and some heavy thunderstorms going on in parts of southern New Hampshire and over into southwestern, uh, into southern Maine or south, I guess that's southwestern Maine. And uh, that's uh, all that all of what you're seeing here in New England is part of that. Uh, severe thunderstorm watch that uh, SBC has put up. And I just want to show you here in terms of the upper air, uh, here's that broad trough that we're talking about uh, that is pushing eastward. And the green areas indicate uh, winds in the upper atmosphere of uh, roughly 50 knots or higher in the lightest green. And, and you're getting wind shear here that uh, those strong winds are mixing down to the surface with some of these thunderstorms. So gusty winds, I think, are going to be the primary driver here, although uh, a, a, a spin-up of a tornado is not impossible as this upper trough moves on through. And you see it swinging eastward uh, as we uh, go through the day and into this evening. Now, this map that you're seeing up on the screen is for uh, 9 o'clock tonight. So all the, the uh, those 50-knot winds in the upper atmosphere by then are gone, and uh, the atmosphere will become a lot more stable and then as we move through the next 36 to 48 hours you see there's just enough of a westerly flow that we should get uh, that uh, humidity and cer certainly the uh, the heat break uh, the humidity uh, break is going to get maybe down into southern New Jersey and southern Pennsylvania I don't know if it gets much further south than that but a genuine uh, ge uh, generous break in the humidity will come Tuesday and Wednesday. And notice, by the way, back out to the west, there's another upper trough that's dropping down uh, into uh, the northern plains. And that is going to be setting things up for another front at the end of this week. So we do have a rather busy 
uh, weather week ahead in the sense that weather systems are going to be moving along. So uh, we're back to this pattern that we had from mid-June to, mid to uh, the first part of July where we were getting weather fronts every couple of days so it could only get hot and humid for a day or two. Uh, we're back to that this week. We may not last much beyond this week, but we're at least we're back to that for this week. Rainfall forecast. Now, here's the, where it gets tricky. These thunderstorms, some of them are going to be able to produce rainfall amounts of up to several inches in a very, very short period of time. And as the, the Weather Prediction Center can't really account for that because that's so localized. In general, we're looking at half to three quarters of an inch this week of precipitation in uh, central and southern New England, maybe a little bit less in southeastern New England, a little bit less in northern New Jersey in the Hudson Valley. Again, if there's a heavier thunderstorm, that could uh, certainly add to some rainfall amounts. And then it picks up again. You'll notice right across the mid-Atlantic states, and particularly as you head through West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, western North Carolina, northernmost Georgia, and points westward into Arkansas, there's a fairly large area of several inches of rain or more uh, that is uh, forecast for uh, this uh, the next seven days. So the overall pattern, uh, as we said, these troughs are going to be coming through. So will cold fronts. So after uh, the one tonight that goes by, uh, we get into some drier air. A stronger trough comes in with a cold front at the end of the week, and that should make for a fairly nice weekend of dry weather conditions. We may get very warm to borderline hot and humid, though, Thursday into Friday ahead of that next front. Then that lifts up and goes by. And beyond that, uh, we're probably going to get back to uh, some heat and humidity that lasts more than just a day or two as we move into the first days of August and an upper high starts to build back again in the Mississippi Valley and the whole that whole jet in Canada just pulls on up uh, to the northeast. So we might have another one of these six, seven day stretches of very hot and very humid weather headed our way. So uh, the bottom line for the rest of the day is that we just need to really keep our eyes on what's going on on the radar. There'll probably be more warnings that'll go up and we'll have to look to see what develops out to the west uh, with this uh, secondary area of showers and thunderstorms. I would think that most of that will probably pass south of New York City. The bulk of what's going on with the severe weather is moving through now and it points east. Uh, and again, it's many of you will see this, many of you won't. Uh, it, uh, or many of you may see something in between. That's just the nature of what we're dealing with. The Joe and Joe Weather Show tonight at 7.30 Eastern Time on my YouTube channel. So uh, be sure to check in again at 7.30 Eastern Time.